Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're back at the Disneyland Resort and I'm gonna give you guys a guess on where we're gonna be going today. You guys recognize this sand sculpture? <laughs> we're gonna be doing a downtown Disney update today. So I've shown you guys the sand sculpture a few times now, but unfortunately people are starting to throw quarters at it for whatever reason. And if you look carefully at Obi-Wan's hair, it's starting to fall apart. Anyways, I think our first stop on this downtown Disney trip is gonna be Star Wars Trading Post. So just like in a lot of places at the Disneyland Resort, it looks like they got in all that like Star Wars Pride merch. This is a Star Wars store, so they only have like the Star Wars stuff, but they have the BB Proud unit. They have the t-shirt, the Millennium Falcon, the sweater. They have the spirit jersey for adults and for kids. But now we're inside of the Star Wars training post and I'm gonna show you guys what lightsabers they have in stock. So it looks like they have Darth Vader's lightsaber, Luke Skywalker, Mace Windu, Kylo Ren, Ben Solo, Ahsoka Tano, Leia's, and Rey Skywalker's. So I'm not really sure if this got restocked or if it just got moved around in the store, but I feel like I haven't seen this in a while. It's the Sandcrawler playset, and it comes with a Gonktroid and a Jawa. And then it says, try me on side, whatever that means. Maybe there's like a button or something. Oh, that's cool. You can hear the Jawa talking. This thing, this playset is massive. Like, look at that. It takes up basically the whole shelf. And just in case you're wondering, this playset is $99.99. And then besides that, they also got in two new prints. I'm going to show you. They're pretty cool. So it goes from episode one through three, and then four, five, six. These are awesome. I definitely want to get one of these. Just, I just want to carry it around today, but I'll definitely come back for them. I want both of them. Well, let me try to move this, get my shadow out of there. But. These are so cool. In case you guys are interested in these, these are $39.99 each. But that's basically it for the Star Wars Trading Post. So there wasn't that much new stuff at Star Wars Trading Post, but I will say those prints are really cool and, and I will definitely come back for those. But as usual, I'm going to give you guys a look at the construction happening here in downtown Disney. Um, I was able to get on the monorail, so I have a shot of over the wall. Let me input that now. Gateway to the downtown Disney district and the Disneyland Resort hotels. If you will be leaving us here and returning later today, please hold on to your park ticket as you leave the station. So not much changed. It's still like, you know, all dirt. But I feel like that hole keeps getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> I think our second stop of the day is going to be over here at Pin Traders. I'm really hoping to have that poster pin in stock, but we'll see. So sadly, the poster pin sold out, and there's a chance they might never come back, sadly. But they do have a lot of the pride pins in stock. They have the BB Unit one that says, Belong, Believe, Be Proud. They have the Pixar Animation one with little... Well, he's rainbow here, but little green alien from Toy Story. The spins. And then they have the Avenger pins, or the Hero pins. They also still have last week's pins in case you're looking for those. They have the beautiful florals pin with Aurora. They have the Our Transformation story with Yzma and Krunk. And then they have that 30th anniversary of Phantasmic pin. So it's really unfortunate that that poster pin's like sold out, but if it ever gets restocked, I'll let you guys know. I'm sure you guys guessed it. We're going to be heading to the Lego store next. I'm not really sure if anything's supposed to be released today, but we're going to go look. So that's pretty cool. Over here at the demo table, they have the Infinity Gauntlet on display. I've always wanted to buy this one, but I just haven't. And sometimes I think you can find it on sale now. That's really cool. I like the Infinity Stones. And it looks like this set was restocked, but they're very popular. This was like just full a second ago and saw a few people grabbing them. <laughs> it's the Republic Fighter Tank. And you get Mace Windu, three clone troopers, and two battle droids. This set's $39.99. So I've had my eye on this Thor's hammer since it came out, and I was always kind of like on the fence on it, but after holding it, this thing is awesome. I think it's $99.99, and I'm pretty close to actually wanting to get one. There's even like a little hidden compartment, like, there goes the Infinity Gauntlet. But anyways, over here in the Star Wars section, it looks like they still have a lot of the latest sets. They have all the, the dioramas in stock. They have the Death Star Trash Compactor. They have the Dega Jedi training. They have the Death Star Trench Run. And they have Luke's Landspeeder, which 
I hope we get to start this build soon after the DeLorean. And I know you guys like when I show you guys the Lego keychain, so here, let's look at those. I'm really glad you guys enjoyed that like Lego video I did where I gave away all the keychains to the characters. And maybe we'll do a part two. So we just left the Lego store and I ended up buying that Mace Windu Lego set. Uh, one of the employees told me there was only like six in stock for today, so I was like, I gotta grab one. And then also I noticed something outside. Let me go show you guys. So since like May 4th is over, They've already started putting away like the Lego like statues that they had. The only one that's left is Yoda, but he's already covered up, so I'm sure he's leaving very soon. So it's currently 9.59, and look how calm and like empty downtown Disney is. It's nice. So many places to sit. <laughs> so I feel like it's been a while since there's been like a new treat in Marcy's Confectionery, but I think we're gonna go in there and check anyways. So here's what you can expect to find here in downtown Disney. In case you guys are visiting soon. They have all these really good treats. They have the Grogu apple. Sorcerer Mickey apple. Minnie Mouse apple pie. Caramel peanut. Caramel cupcakes. They have that donut like Rice Krispie treat. All these Rice Krispie treats. Cake pop. And then tons of cookies. So sadly, there's no new treats inside of Marcin's Confectionery, but at least now you guys know what to expect when you guys come to downtown Disney. But I think our next stop is going to be Disney Dress Shop. So here at the Disney Dress Shop, it looks like they have those new Mexico ears. They have the white version. These are really nice. These are $29.99, and you know, I didn't realize the last time I showed you guys, there was even more hidden Mickey. So I showed you guys like, these small ones, but there's actually these bigger ones. That's cool. Looks like they still have those bobble bar Tiana ears in stock as well. These are $49.99. And just in case anybody's looking for it, they still have a lot of that Disney Coach merch in here. And I think last time when I was here, they only had the black ears, but looks like the, the white ones are back in stock. Which I think those are for Disneyland. But that was basically it for the Disney Dress Shop. Well, not a whole lot going on in there. It's been a pretty slow morning so far, but we still have one more stop on this trip. And that's World of Disney. So I just want to show you guys the new email section really quick. Uh, I feel like I haven't seen anything new in a while. I think the latest thing is probably Goofy. In case you guys are looking for him, he is $19.99. But I think, I think that's basically it for the new email section. I hope we see more stuff coming in, like more plushes and maybe some accessories. And then here in the men's section of World of Disney, I feel like I've never seen these shorts or that shirt, but I like it. I mean, if it had sleeves, I like it more. I'm not much of like a tank top person, but I like the, the look of it. It looks like chalk when it gets like washed away. And then here's the back. It says Disneyland. That looks awesome. Now, if only this had sleeves. <laughs> this one's $36.99. And then here's a look at the shorts. Now, the shorts I'm not the biggest fan of. But in case you are, they have these here. And these are $36.99 as well. And then just like every visit, I'm going to show you guys the ear walls. So here's a look at the ear wall near the entrance. And I guess you can see like the two latest ears are the Mexico ones. And then these are not new, but they're newly restocked. They have the Valentine's Day like heart ears. Just in case you're looking for them. They also have all the Americana merchandise over here in the women's department. They have the lounge white bag. They have the ears. They have the, like this cropped shirt here with mini on it. And then they have the Mickey mini shorts. And then they even have all the Pride merchandise as well. But there's one thing that I have not seen before that they have here. So in yesterday's video, I showed you guys at Disneyland that they had this new like lounge white bag with the rainbow heart. But here at World of Disney, and this is so far the only place I've been able to find this is they have this rainbow wristlet bag. I haven't seen this anywhere in the parks just yet. But it's kind of nice. Let's see how much it retails for. This one is... $40. And then here's a look at the lining inside. So it's black with rainbow mini Mouses. And then on the full size bag, the lining inside is, is black with rainbow Mickeys. But besides that, it looks like the Captain America bag was restocked as well. I haven't seen this in a while. 
This one's $85 in case you're looking for it. They also have the America Chavez jacket, which I've only seen this in DCA, so it's cool to see it here at World of Disney as well. But, and then on the back, it's got a star. This one's cool. And then here's a look at the ear wall over here in room five. Looks like for the most part they have the same pairs of ears I've showed you guys like throughout the Disneyland Resort. And then I would say that these are probably the newer ones. I think I showed you guys these at Disney Clothiers the other day. These are $29.99 and these are from Epcot as well. These are part of the United Kingdom line. And then every time I come to World of Disney I like to show you guys the mug wall as well. But unfortunately I'm not seeing anything too new. I think the newest thing that they got here in store is probably the Winnie the Pooh mug. But I think that's about it. But anyways, there wasn't that much going on inside of World of Disney. I think the newest thing that I saw was probably that wristlet bag, but that was about it. But anyways, I think I'm in the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.